right, Dan, can you build me your perfect, your ideal Christmas day dinner? Yeah, lots of Yorkshire puddings, which I think is controversial. Yeah, I, thank you. It is controversial. Yeah. I uh, think this only goes with beef, you know. Do you? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm just anything, any type of dinner I'm taking Yorkshire puddings yeah, with. Okay. So, like, they're a, a big must. It's a staple, it's guaranteed. Yeah, Got to be. I'd be disappointed if they, if they weren't on yeah. the plate. Yorkshire pudding, yes or no? I'm going to go no. I do like a Sunday roast with a Yorkshire, but I don't feel like it goes with a Christmas dinner. There's, there's already too much going on for me that I don't need a Yorkshire in there. Um, we've had a few people on this and apparently it only goes with beef. If you've got beef with your Christmas day dinner, you're allowed a Yorkie, but each to their own. That's the beauty of it, right? Do you have beef on Christmas dinner? Uh, some people do. Do they? Do yeah. you? No. Yeah, so yeah, I don't, I've never had beef on Christmas day before. Yorkshire's all right if you've got your beef, if you're having the beef. If it's there's a no beef, thing, beef, you can't, you can't stick it in. It's a beef, oh, thank you, I totally agree with that. I think, I think uh, Yorkshire's belong on a Sunday dinner, not on a Christmas dinner. But if you have beef, then I'm you with you. In, you can stick a, stick a Yorkie in there. Yeah. All right, you mate, can't beautiful. can have chicken and Yorkshire, no chance. No, I'm Just with you. Go. Pigs and blankets, love Standard. pigs and blankets. Turkey, I'm only turkey over beef. Yeah. Um, and then all the potatoes, I'm wanting the carbs. Ma mashed potato? Yeah, mashed potato. Yeah, on a Christmas day dinner, yeah. Mash I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I like to go turkey, gammon. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, it's not weird, I like that. No, yeah, gammon. Yeah. Plenty of pigs in blankets. Yeah. Sprouts. I'm a big fan of a sprout. Yeah, I've been, like eating, sprout. I've been eating sprouts the last three months, really. Yeah. Ever since I get in the supermarket, I'm on sprouts. Roasties? Oh, yeah. Well, well, all, all the givens, the roasties, the carrots. Mashed potato? No. Uh, we used to have mash as a kid, but I don't think I love mash anymore. Okay, yeah. My, my mum and dad and auntie uncle, they, they like mushy peas on the on on Christmas dinner. I've never heard that. <laughs> There's I not many people have. I've never heard have. that. That's not many people have. We used to have mushy peas on our Christmas dinner all the time. How mushy? So like watery mushy or just like stodgy mushy? Oh, like, no, like, like the clumpy one. Yeah, you know, okay, like the yeah. Clumpy mushy. Yeah, piece. yeah, yeah. Broad, broad. Are they broad beans? Are they broad? Yeah. Marrow fat. Marrow fat, yeah. Marrow fat, that's yeah. what they're called. Marrow fat, yeah. marrow fat, mushy peas, and then stuffing. But yeah. like different flavours of stuffing, yeah, like just standard, like, yeah. like the chestnut ones yeah, and that yeah, one's yeah. bacon and stuffing. The roast, actually eating that's the best part of your day. Talk, day, talk to me about that roast then. Talk to me about the dinner. What are we talking? Traditional, we got anything crazy in there? What? Nah, we have a bit of every meat, you know, we've got to have a bit of ham. Yeah. A bit of chicken, turkey, beef. Everyone, we've got to obviously then load up on all that. The roasties are the best, though. Trimmings, uh, um, pigs in blankets? You have the pigs in blankets. Well, my mum sets them out on big trays down the table. Mrs. does the spuds. She's the king of the spuds, so um, we let her do that. But yeah, all the veg, everything, literally load it all up and then I don't even know what it is, but you have your roast, you feel full as anything for an hour and a half, and the next minute you feel like you could go again and yeah, pick get, get uh, straight back into the spuds and leftover. Um, Make a little sandwich or something stuff, like that. Yeah. Veg, I'm less bothered about on it. No sprouts. No. Not a fan of sprouts. But uh, parsnips, carrots. Parsnips, carrots, I'll take. Even parsnips, I'm not fussed about because it's on a Christmas dinner. I'll yeah. Do you know what I mean? You so. just want all the good stuff. Yeah. Uh, what about like condiments? Any cranberry sauce, horseradish, mustard? Yeah, I'm not a big condiment guy when it comes to gravy, Christmas dinner. Though, for like sure. Gravy, obviously, like Northern boys, isn't it? So, um, Standard. Yeah, I've got a lot of gravy. I'll take that. But yeah, like mint sauce and all the cranberry sauce and that. Leave all that I'm out. Leave it. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Day, talk me through it this year. How's it going to go? What are you doing? I'm off Christmas Day, which is nice. Oh. Nice treat. So yeah. what do you do? Play 27th then? Yep. Yep. So we're in Christmas Eve, off Christmas Day, and then training on 26th, which is a lovely a, lo a lovely touch. So thanks, Gaffer. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Have you had many Christmas Days off? I had one when I got banned, unfortunately. So that um, was... Like, unfortunately, that, did you <laughs> yeah, say well, that? Yeah, it's, it's like a... I shouldn't have done it because I got banned, but... What did you do? I elbowed Glenn Murray. Glenn Murray's a lovely guy as he, well. You know, mate. you know what actually happened? He he fell on me for a pen. He dived and he landed on my hand. So I give away a pen and, and I broke my hand at the same time. And then five minutes later, he missed the pen. Then he grabbed my hand to pull me to try and get in front of throwing. So I decided to throw an elbow in. In retrospect, so they got banned for three games. A little Christmas with break. a broken hand. Oh. So well, they had a nice Christmas. Um, so talk to me then about um, that Christmas day, um, specifically how it's going to go. I'll get my little one, open a few presents. Then we'll, we'll like to try and get out for a little walk on Christmas day in the nice, morning. Nice, so yeah. The three of us and the dog will go for a little walk in the morning. And then family, my family will come over, Mrs. family will come over, and we'll uh, have a big Christmas dinner. So. Are you training Christmas day? Um, I'm not sure actually. We've got a away game, Swindon. On Boxing Day? Boxing Day. You probably will Long be in walk. training then. So I'm not sure. Okay, so um, so imagine then you're in early doors in the morning and then you're allowed to go home and you're allowed to have your Christmas Day dinner with a family. Talk me through your Christmas Day from that point onwards. It's stinking for us though, isn't it really? It is, Can't yeah. even enjoy it, but nah, I'd probably get back if we were in training and obviously by that point I've already opened all the presents with yeah. the baby and all the kids and stuff. and. 
last year we had dinner at mine everyone came round early afternoon all the kids come so we get them like a big sack every year yeah, all nice. the presents and stuff so I actually love just sitting with them playing with them and I get involved with all the kids to be honest everyone else sits in the other room probably getting bladdered that's what I should do on <laughs> Christmas but as we can't I end up sitting in the other room get left with all the kids and end up playing games for hours and I actually enjoy it and usually if we've gotten away if we've gotten away again the next day we might have to travel at night that. yeah um but if it's a home game i'll probably just stay if it's there if it's in someone else's house so probably get off about eight o'clock and get home and chill out a bit but if it's in mine i'll probably send everyone on the way at eight o'clock yeah, uh, i need early night i've got to get game myself tomorrow. upstairs quite quite boring quite typical i think yeah i'm with you uh that's paul mullins christmas like like it like it <laughs> thank you for telling me about your christmas James. thank you for letting me <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for letting me tell you <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs>